Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Hitman Hokkaido video sponsored by RageWorks.net. This is my 21st elusive target mission and it is a silent assassin run. Good evening 47. Your targets are Dr. Pavel Friedel and Dr. Akane Akanawa, brilliant and unethical transplant surgeons. Both were involved in performing an operation on a billionaire's son. However, the organ had been sourced illicitly in Central Africa, and the patient died of hemorrhagic fever shortly after. We have located the targets at Gamma in Hokkaido, where they are key members of staff, and will enjoy a great deal of freedom of movement and protection within the facility itself. The client offers a substantial bonus if the targets are eliminated in a manner appropriate to the death of their patient. As you know, the Gamma facility has worked with infectious diseases, so you should be able to find something useful on site. And I know you appreciate poetic justice. The clock is ticking, 47. Good luck. Now, for this mission, the only things that I took with me are um, the lockpick and I the... Have an the disposable the card reader. Their research into the variant two I pick up coins right away virus. in my own personal bathroom. I also pick up some scissors. It's for an extra distraction. So and I'm going if for you the optional the kill quest. that they, they explained in the dossier. If you're not going for that, you may want to go for a different loadout. You may need to put something in the um, in like a hiding spot. I don't know why it was so hard to pick up these scissors. But basically, um, I really was playing it safe here because on the two previous elusive targets, I messed up Silent Assassin. I had it in both of them and messed it up in both of them. So I'm getting the director's outfit, which is nearly OP for Hokkaido, but it should get me where I got to go. I really paid attention to all the information that they gave us beforehand and just common knowledge, not only from the dossier, but just common knowledge of real world um, hospitals and stuff. Live specimens, blood, stuff like that are generally kept in a freezer. So there's only one freeze. Well, there's two freezers in the in the um, game, both of them are in the morgue area. So I figure that's my first stop. That throwing the scissors is to get the director in here, knock him out, get his clothes. Uh, probably nothing. Now we just make our way over to the actual hospital area. Sir, how are you? And I figured in the morgue, that's where we would find the viruses. That's also where I can knock out the cameras. So two birds with one stone. If you need, if you know, if you feel you need more access to the hospital, use the disposable scrambler to let Mr. Smith out of out of his um uh, morgue table whatever and he'll give you the master RFID chip I don't do that in this video but I'll point out where it is so to the left we take out the the um cameras It's me. Always best to crouch sneak here, especially since we're going for Silent Assassin, pick up the scalpel. And to the right is where Mr. Smith is, where you can get the master RFID chip. I figured the viruses had to be in here, and I was right. This looks promising, 47. Those samples should be exactly what you need. So next, during the, the dossier, you see 
uh, Akinawa, she is in the um, in the hospital area on her cell phone. So, and that's right to the left of us. So I want to take this guard out because he patrols this hallway, and I don't want to take a chance. Maybe I'm just losing my mind. You technically could leave him here, but I think that's a risky again if you're going for silent assassin because whenever a body is found, it's you don't know the patterns that the guards are gonna take. They might find his body, like the person who drags the body out might find the body. So it's best to put him in the in the locker. So I went over here because this is where she was in the in the dossier, but Nope. So I go back. I wanted to check out the surgeon area where um, Eric Soders is, and look, there, there she goes. They even took it one step further. There's a manual controller, which she keeps in a living quarter. I owe gotta stop having me kill these beautiful women when I'm sure 47 would rather dispatch with them in a, you know, a better way. Her phone call is really creepy. Yes, it's me. Do you have the material? What? No, you idiot. Do you pay attention at all? Apparently, I haven't paid attention for the last two elusive targets because I messed them up. I need you to find two identical eyes. Light blue, mint condition. Well, keep looking. Everywhere. Two identical eyes. That, that's the way she said that implies that they don't have to both come from the same person. And I don't want to know. Call me back when you have them. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Like, just take people's eyes. Take their eyes and give them to me. Chick, you gotta go. Good night. Target eliminated. It's bad enough that people wake up in bathtubs missing their kidney or whatever. They wake up in a bathtub with no eyes. So now we're going after Pavel Friedel and the um Mr. Jason Portman. The advertisement image Please for the elusive the target showed him with a glass of wine in his hand. So I figure he's got to be in the in the um the lounge area, the restaurant slash bar area. I kind of forgot that for a second because I'm looking for him out here and walking through the nice clean water in my dirty shoes. I wanted to make sure he wasn't up by the shrine area or anything. So I do find him in here, but it takes a while to get him in position and I messed up my first shot, so I'm going to speed this up a bit. I'm going to slow it down here in a second though. Well, don't worry about the body found because again, it was a unnoticed, they call it a poison kill. I don't know how a virus is poison, but whatever. Listen to this conversation. So, Doc. Uh that enhancement treatment we discussed? Well, it's uh, kind of weird to be saying this, given the nature of my work, but I really think you should think twice about this enhancement therapy. It's all still pretty experimental. I've made up my mind about it, Doc. I gotta go big. Real big. Wow. You're young, and I have been around the block, so let me give you a bit of advice for free. Size isn't everything. In my world, it is. All the guys are getting it done. Really? 
I didn't All the guys that. jumped off a bridge. And Would you jump? Having any problems? I mean, performing their duties, so to speak. On the contrary, Doc, they're real beasts, all of them. Always at it, day and night, really competing to see who's biggest. Wow. Yikes. I mean, I don't judge, of course. I mean, this one time in medical school, but, I mean, I was pretty drunk, of course. You're losing me, Doc. But can you get me those steroids or not? I don't want to Oh, be steroids. Steroids? Oh, steroids. I, I thought you were talking about something else. Loosen me again, Doc. What did you think I was talking about? Uh, nothing. I'll, no. I'll get you the damn steroids. Don't worry. I thought you were talking about, uh, I thought you I was know. pretty clear, but... Well, you seem pretty fixated on guys, though. Hey, you know, that's hey, just hey, fine. Hey. This is a modern world we live in, and... Well, as far as I'm concerned, who you love is entirely up to you. Shut up. Well, there's no call for that, sir. I was just saying. Let me know when you got the meds for me. Now, this was my first best chance to kill him. I figured I would have him go over here in the corner and nobody would see when I stick him. Take point. Of course, it never works the, the way you want it with these stupid distractions. This guard comes all the way back in this here instead of this the guy right going. Place to be acting like a bizarre asshole, mister. No, this is the perfect place to act like a bizarre asshole because this place is bizarre. Now he walks out. And he's going to walk all around, <clears throat> excuse me, all around the freaking bar for like five freaking minutes. That's why I'm speeding through this. I figured I might have to poison his drink, but that wasn't happening with all those patients over there and with the enforcer. I just waited for him to come back here again. And Amos freaking Dexter comes over here to say hi. Finally, he comes back. But it gave me time to think. I was nervous as hell because, you know, having missed Silent Assassin twice in a row. I said, all I need is for everybody to be looking away from this guy. To just toss the coin out towards the, the soccer trees. And everybody's looking that way now. Here we go. And now we just get the hell out. Target down. The money has been wired to your account. Hey, are you okay? I need to pat you down if you Hello? want to proceed. And the reason why I say people might not want to worry about um, the special optional objective here with the virus is because they say there's a bonus, but there's no bonus. We don't get paid in this game. Diana says the money's wired to your account, but we don't see it. Regardless, I'm finally back on track to get my unlock my final suit. Plus, I should get the the white yukata here for doing this. For some reason, when I when I um finished this mission, it didn't show any of my my challenges unlocked. But I did look later. I did get some assassin for both. Well, it showed completing both targets and it showed Silent Assassin, but I got to double check to make sure I got the Yukata. So that is my Silent Assassin run for elusive target number 21. It took me a while because of waiting around for the doctor. I hope you guys find a better way to do it, but I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.